Greetings, today we will be looking at this function and we will find the intervals of this function where it is rising. So, in other words, we will need to use the derivative in order to figure out when the tangent line is positive, when the derivative is positive, and we will use critical points and derivatives for that. So first of all, let's take the derivative of this function. And I'm not going to lie, this function was prepared so that the derivative would match nicely with what we need and then it would be nicely de-distributable, but we will see that later. So the derivative of this is x uh, cubed minus uh, 5x squared plus, plus um, 6x, okay? And now we can rewrite the derivative to this x times x squared minus 5x plus 6. And we can rewrite this even further to uh, or let me just leave it like this and now I will need to find the critical points. And the critical points are points when the tangent line is zero. In other words, where the derivative is zero. So let's take the formula for our derivative here and let's make it equal to zero in order to find critical points where the tangent line is zero. And we can rewrite this even further to this. Okay, so we can rewrite this to this and how it's visible where the derivative is equal to zero. At x equals zero, at x equals three, and at x equals two. At these three points it is equal to zero. So we know that the critical points, critical points are these three, okay? Let me delete this thing here. So we can draw the number line. We can draw point zero, point two, and three. And then minus infinity and plus infinity, okay? These three points. And now we have one, two, three, four intervals that can be either rising or descending. Okay, so let's plug in a random point here. So for example, minus one, okay? So if we plug in minus one, we'll get minus one times one uh, plus five, six, 36. So it's gonna be a minus interval. So here it is decreasing, here it is decreasing, okay? So let me just say minus. Then we can plug in one for this interval and we'll get one times, this is a positive one. So this interval, if we plug in a number between 0 and 2, we will get that it is positive. So the tangent line, when the derivative here is positive, so the tangent line is going up. So this is a rising interval. So already we have one solution. 2 and 3 between there is 2.5, for example. So let's plug in 2.5. That's um, uh, minus. This is a minus interval. This is a descending interval. OK? And then we have 3 up to one uh, to infinity, so let's plug in 1000 or, or 10. So um, so this is rising again. So we have two solutions. We now know, and let me uh, write out the solutions. Solutions. Solutions are as following. First of all, the interval from zero. So this one, the interval, interval zero two, interval uh, two three. So these two solutions are are what we owe, uh, free infinity. Okay. These two are the solutions to our problem. And just to repeat what we did, we were given this function. And we will told use application of derivatives in order to find out at which intervals is this function rising. And through what we know about derivatives means uh, when the tangent line, when the derivative, when the value of a evaluated derivative is positive, uh, the function is rising. So we just were looking for uh, intervals at which the, the function was rising. First of all, we found critical points. So we set the derivative equal to zero. We got three critical points, zero to three, and we created four intervals on this line. Because 
we were dividing minus infinity up until infinity into into uh, four intervals with these three critical points. And of course, the critical points, in other words, are boundaries for our intervals. And we had one interval, minus infinity to zero, which was negative, zero to two, which was positive, two to three was negative, three to infinity was positive, and we were looking for the ones that were positive, because when our derivative is positive, that means the function is rising on this interval. So we know the function is rising from zero to two, and from three to infinity. 